Mitsubishi compilation. Okay, bye. Raccoon dogs are incredibly cute creatures in general, but I think one of their best traits is how different they look with their winter coats versus their summer coats. They go from, yeah, that looks like a candid, all right, to not when I shift into maximum fluff. Can somebody, can somebody draw this as Michiru from BNA, please? I have a money need for wholesome content right now. I really enjoy just existing in hotels. The long identical hallways, the soulless abstract art, the weird noises the air conditioner makes, strange city lights in the window, six stories off the ground, strangers chatting in the hall, nothing in the dresser, no past, but an infinite present. Finally, someone understands. There's a new guy at work starting called Wayne Bruce, and I said, ah, oh, my old nemesis, man bats. And nobody got it. Honestly, I'm wasted here. Not all capes wear heroes. Also, there's such a thing as a human yolk sack. You are the reason asks are off. Ugh. Someone in the notes just commented, omelet. Some girl just walked into my local bookstore with her boyfriend and said, Buying books is a waste of money. She starts complaining and whiny about how she wants to leave. He then looks at her for a long time and says, I want to break up. This is beautiful. Get yourself a partner who likes books. Me. Okay, time to go and look at my college stuff that I have to do because it's college. College. Words. Me. I can't read! Monkey steals camera from photographer to snap himself a selfie. Gets uploaded to Wikipedia. Photographer sues Wikipedia to remove it. Wikipedia refuses to delete photo as Monkey owns it. There's no part of this I don't love. What I want to know is, did he upload it to Wikipedia himself? I want to know. I does this have to know. A random Viking fact I found out. When a Viking mistreats his lady, she may cut off his junk and hang it in her home. Also, women were in charge of household's money because they were believed to be magic and have the ability to see into the future. If a woman divorced her Viking husband, he would be shamed for being divorced. And men weren't even allowed to touch a woman's hand if she had not agreed to it, or he would be punished by law. Vikings! Okay, let's stop romanticizing Victorian Europe and start romanticizing Vikings. Mighty need. The trope where someone is about to be killed and says, Please, I have a family! But then the family show up and beat the shit out of their captors. Are you Donkey from Shrek? Oh my god! Hey, y'all ever see the inside of a manga pit? Is a manga pit another word for a neckbeard nest? <laughs> First of all, I very obviously meant mango pit, but don't cackle to like, violently to post the picture. Fuck you. Finding my mother's sugar daddy tumbler with a handful of furry drawings on it was easily the worst thing I've done in my life. Never say those words in that order ever again. Oh. My gosh. I have two hands and three foots. Oh, poor little dude. I've never seen an animal look more distressed. I am not lost, just visiting. Thank you for visiting, little friend. I love you. I have an update on this little dude. Apparently he has now been permanently banned from leaving his house because he walked his ass down to the train station, got on a train, and spent the day hanging out at a cafe a few suburbs over. That cat was a human in a past life. Stephanie Meyer. Vampires are all sexy, heterosexual, white British rich kids who are geniuses in Taika. Shut the fuck up! Every vampire is bisexual and a moron! That's how you do it. It never occurred to me that all the bosses in Link's Awakening are a fear that can lead to nightmares. Snakes, Moldrum, clowns, genie. Always feel like you're being watched. Giant eye and facade. The deep ocean, anglerfish and giant eel. Fire, flamehead, killer insects, hard hit beetle, and living shadows. Deathle himself. And worst of all, birds. How could someone be scared of birds? Sounds like something a bird would say. Sounds suspiciously like a bird pretending to be a human accusing a different human of being a bird. What? Ha! Ah, found the dirty old bird. Give him hell, boy. My ass, Minotaur, the first cowboy. I said this to my girlfriend and she just started listing synonyms for bad at me. Who would win in a fight between Aang and Korra isn't even a question. Because Aang would be like, I'll oh, never fight one of my future lives. And Korra would not hesitate before sucker punching a 12 year old. Me, my outline, making everything up as I write. Has this been done before? Tumblr, if you keep calling me out like this, we're going to have to talk. Shawty got them problematic jeans, boots with the erm. She got the whole club canceling her. Who am I supposed to invite to my wedding when I have like three friends and dislike most of my family? Okay, hear me out. Dogs and cats in fancy clothes. <gasps> my God, you're right. 
Jesus comes from a shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Joshua, while Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clear to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his two teenage friends. Ah, Oily Josh and the Greasy Boys! How do you giggle in French? Wee wee baggy! Reblog to let him know that you love him. Of course I love him! Look at the chunky boy! Look at his face! In 1930, Helen Adelaide Shelby patented an apparatus for obtaining criminal confessions. The police put the suspect into a darkened chamber where they're confronted by a human skeleton with glowing red eyes that question them with the voice transmitted from the interrogator behind it through a megaphone in its, in its mouth. The camera concealed in the skull was to record the confessions. I'm sorry, what? Confess your sins to the crime, skeleton! Yeah! Peter Parker, also known as the popular superhero Spider-Man, is roughly 16 to 17 years old, meaning he was born in either 2001 or 2002. I mean, with this iteration of what we're going with, sure, why not? Contrary to popular belief, this places him firmly in the Gen Z category, rather than the millennial category that many place him in. By extrapolating this information, we can conclude that Peter Parker not only knows what a furry is, but constantly has to grapple with the fact that his spider-centric identity is in fact his persona. In this essay, I will- Orange juice is the superior beverage because it makes your chunk feel like you ate a bunch of ants, which reminds me of my childhood when I put ants in my mouth and eat them, except this time it tastes good too. Hey, OP, I think you're probably allergic to citrus. Is this not what OG is supposed to make your tongue feel like? No, it's not. Hey, can I get a cursed back about space? If you go there, you die. Well, if you go to Earth, you also die. One of my least favorite mental illness things is hungry but don't feel like eating. And its companions, hungry but all the food in the house is illegal, hungry but can't make anything, and hungry want to eat but why bother. Also the ADHD friend, hungry but unaware of hunger because current activity is too captivating. Or hungry but I'll get to it later. Definite not hungry, nope, but upon forcing oneself to eat something, discovering that the food vanished in 30 seconds, and the pervasive feeling of ickiness all vanished, what the fuck? Or my least favorite, hungry but moving is against the law. Okay, but seriously, the most valuable thing I learned doing a master's degree with depression, anxiety, and ADHD was to change my things I'm bad at list to things I can't do on my own. Stop thinking of them as things I could do if I tried hard enough, and accept that I can't accomplish them by effort and willpower alone. They're genuine neurocognitive deficits. And if I need to do the thing, then just like a blind person reading or a mobility impaired person going up a story in a building, I need to find a different method. I'm bad at working on long-term projects without an imminent deadline or someone breathing down my neck. Okay, let's change that. I can't work on long-term projects without an imminent deadline or someone breathing down my neck. So let's create an imminent deadline and recruit neck breathers. Find a sympathetic professor who will agree that three weeks before the due date, they expect me to show them my preliminary notes and bibliography. Get a friend I trust to block off an hour to sit with me and keep asking, are you working on your project? Write a blog post about my progress and arrange to trade papers and proofread them with another student. Accept your limitations and learn to leverage them. Instead of buying the neurological fairy tale that they'll go away if you just try hard enough. Okay, back to the stupid. Does anyone else have that one tree that they walk past that has one branch that hangs across the path and consistently whacks you in the face? Yeah, damn it, not again. Oh yes, I love the Star War. Pew Pew, Lightsaber, Darth Vader, and Luke Skyscraper, and Obi-Wan Cannoli, and R2-B2, and 3PCO, and Tobaka. I love Star Trek. This physically hurts to read, and I'm not even a Star Wars fan. For whatever reason, you suddenly gain godlike powers of control over the universe. What's the first thing you do? I straight up get rid of carbon. Carbon, the chemical element upon which all life forms are based? That's the bit! The beast has been defeated! But now, there may be another. God help me. I just realized that never is a contraction of not ever. And blush is a contraction of blood rush. And studying is a contraction of student dying. Just saw the words catboy, catgirl, and nyan binary, and it took several years off my life expectancy. Same. Today I learned only 64 to 77% of people experience a headache at some point in their lives. If you're one of the lucky 23 to 36%, turn on your location so I can bonk you over the head with a table lamp and teach you what it feels like to be mortal like the rest of us.
Now this is how we should redefine the term the elite. It really, really should. I didn't think I could actually hate 23% of the population right now, and yet... Here I am. Fun things to say when someone tells you they're going to the bathroom. Stay safe. Congratulations. That's what they all say. Different strokes for different folks. I hope you have the time of your life. But you have so much to live for, and please explain. Or sometimes my friend used to say this to me. Don't die. Found out my sisters work with someone named Karen. <laughs> She's the manager. Karen has to deal with Karens. Talk about doing it yourself. Karen has to speak to the manager and you can get what you wanted. So she became the manager. <gasps> the Karens are learning. I can't be trusted with a large stick. You simply aren't strong enough to handle the power of the stick. The power of the stick corrupts my mind with the thoughts of bonk. Today I learned that during the American Civil War, some soldiers' wounds glowed blue. Soldiers whose wounds glowed had a better chance of surviving, and so the glow was called Angel's Glow. Now it is known that the luminescence is due to bacteria that produce antibiotics and live in the nematodes. I love how fantasy world and mythological this sounds. Anytime someone says your writing is unrealistic and full of major plot points you just pulled out of your ass, just remember that in the middle of one of the messiest and most agonizing wars in human history, at one point, all the wounded soldiers just started glowing blue and failed to die. I can't stop thinking about what happens to salmons when they get horny. <sighs> all right, I'll bite. What happens when they get horny? They literally transform into a new, unbelievably fucked up creature. From this, to this. Show me your feet, you coward. Leak proof. Using seamless hot press technology, this bag is 100% leak proof. Yo, watch me roll up into the picnic with my bag full of whipped fruit. I think this is how they make LaCroix. Today I learned that if wasps decide they don't like you, they drop pheromones on you so that other wasps don't like you either. Call that post. Potion of fuck this guy. Chainsaw on a chain. Well, now I'm just thinking of some huge-ass chainsaw, but the chain is actually made of regular-sized chainsaws just flailing around and decimating everything inside. Now put that in a large enough chainsaw cannon, and then power the cannon with an even bigger chainsaw! So, a huge chainsaw that uses chainsaws for the chain being used as ammo for an even larger chainsaw cannon powered by an even larger chainsaw saw. And if that doesn't work... More! Movie called Down! Sequel to Up! It's three seconds long, and it's the balloons breaking and the house falling into the abyss. I yelled no when I saw this. I love when I elicit such strong emotions from people with my posts. Bad post, OP! I recently received one of the most obscure insults. I was at work, and one of my residents turned to me and said, You'll never make it in the trucking business. Out of nowhere. It didn't make sense. But he said it with such hatred and pure appearance that I was convinced my non-existent dreams of being a trucker had been crushed. Well, those are some unusual rainbows. Oh God, the gays are growing stronger by the minute. <laughs> Unlimited power. ADHD be like, don't expect anything from me because it stresses the hell out of me, but also expects things from me because it's the only way I get anything done. Yeah, you didn't have to call me out like this. Just don't expect the things you're expecting from me. Better yet, remove expectation from your vocabulary. No longer look to the future with hopes however bleak they may be. Ride the tides of time like a paralyzed sea creature in open ocean, going wherever chance may take it, and simply making do. Damn, that's deep. I am a writer looking for an incredibly specific word that I can't remember. <gasps> anyway, it's called throw a pillow! Are you working toward your dreams? Oh, MJ, no, I'm not, but thank you for asking. You try to stab a shapeshifter, but he shifts into a donut, and your sword goes straight through the donut. Huh. I like rainbows, but I'm not gay, so I wear a rainbow on my shirt, but then under it, I gotta put not gay, but I'm not against gay people, so under that, I gotta put but supportive. I just think it's weird that one group took refracted light. It's pretty greedy, gays. The straights are at it again. Reblog if you're a greedy gay hoarding refracted light off of your greedy gay self. I totally am, but also, I have a story. The time, 1995. The place, a small liberal arts college. We decided to participate in Denim Day, which was a widespread event wherein on National Coming Out Day, you would wear denim to indicate support for the LGBT community. Our support group made posters that were very, very clear on this. Wearing denim did not mean you were coming out. It meant you supported anyone around you who might. 
I have never seen so many suits and khakis in my life. People who accidentally wore jeans went home and changed. The community took it as a rebuke. We drew in closer to each other and felt unwelcome everywhere we thought we had friends before. And I had people later tell me, you know, I support you, just I didn't want anyone to think I was. First off, I don't know you support me. Not if you refuse to, for one day, change nothing about your life to show it. Second off, why is that such a terrifying thought, too? So I know this is a joke and a stolen one at that, but you've done this to yourselves. If someone is so terrified of being perceived as queer that they will instantly abandon something they like, if it has queer germs on it now or something, then they don't deserve refracted light. Maybe help us change the world into a place where being mistaken for queer would be just a thing to chuckle about, and you can have refracted light back. The LGBTQ plus community didn't steal the rainbow. The straights abandoned it. You know, I hate when people... Imagine being the woman in this commercial who had to pretend she was dancing with the cast of Shrek 2 in Walmart. Where is she now? I mean, where do you go once you've reached the top? A cute girl told me she had a lot of plants in her house and I told her for some fucking reason, Damn, the oxygen at your place must be mad crisp. And somehow still got her number, so... Chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. Would you kids like a cursed fact? The sequel? Yeah, give us the cursed fact! Babies are born without kneecaps. Here's something to add to that. I'm sure you've heard that babies are born with more bones than adults. But actually, when babies are born, they don't even have bones. All their bones, so to say, are made of cartilage. You know, the stuff your nose is made of. That cartilage hardens into bones as you age and doesn't fully complete until you're about 20. Some of this information might be wrong, so feel free to correct anything I got wrong. How dare you make my post more cursed? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Metal straws are utensils for beverages. I mean, just because the words are in your head doesn't mean you should say them, Noxon. Can I ask you something? My immediate reply says, go for it, but my mind has already gone through the seven stages of grief. My whole body ceased reading the first five words. Ricky Williams blames pot for his failed drug test. I got high and I forgot I wasn't supposed to get high. This quote will go down in history. Hot dog water is the exact opposite of holy water, in that you can add a single drop of it to any amount of pure water and it'll make the entire thing unpure. Now this is the kind of philosophical liturgy I've come to Tumblr for. Finally, I can defeat the Pope. And if I said liturgy wrong, it's because I drink the hot dog water. No, he's fat because he's full of love and he's running to give everybody a hug. In reality, frogs that are full of love are actually full of poison. Love arrives in many forms. U.S. elections be like kettle-cooked capitalism versus wavy capitalism. Ooh. Scam artist caught. Police arrested scam artist John Young, who tricked people into buying some sort of substance, which he himself named it, the Elixir of Immortality. Upon questioning, the police discover that John has a criminal record, being arrested for the same felony in 2004, 1965, 1923, and 1866. Um, sir, I think you've, uh, I, I think you've made a false arrest. The global internet is being attacked by sharks, Google confirms. No headline will ever bring me as much joy as this. Why if it goes out, those fucking sharks again, I swear! Fucking SJWs! Sharks that jam Wi-Fi? I'm scared to have kids. Like, what if I accidentally kill one? But what if it grows up and hates your fandom? Then it might not be an accident. Oh my god, what the fuck was wrong with me in 2013? What the fuck? What the fuck? Seven years of brain development changes a person. Today, my diet has consisted of five guys and Popeye, so I'm probably gonna live forever. You eat five whole people? Six, counting Popeye. I love it when people tell me about me, because I have no idea who I am. I love when people say, I really like that thing you do. You know when you insert thing, and you had no idea that it's something you do. I also love it when people know more about you than you do. I get really excited. Imagine this. Tooth fairies made out of stolen human teeth. Sometimes still bloody from being pulled out of a corpse's mouth. Nobody knows why the teeth disappear of the corpses and how they were killed. Except the people with no teeth left. 
The people who survived the Wicked Tooth Fairies. That sounds amazing as a writer's prompt. It doesn't have to be. Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games is such a great game. It lets me live out my wildest fantasy. Born to make history. In fifth grade, we were making little clay statues and mine came out shitty, so I left a big air pocket in it so it would explode when the teacher put it in the kiln and it exploded so hard. It destroyed 10 other kids' statues and they were all on the verge of tears. I thought it was really funny. And I still do. So you basically planted a bomb. Well, I'm a head out. <laughs>